Check out this quote from Kyler Murray. This was back in December of 2021 of the New York Times. Quote, I think I was blessed with the cognitive skills to just go out there and just see it before it happens. I'm not one of those guys that's going to sit there and kill myself watching film. I don't sit there for 24 hours and break down this team and that team and watch every game because in my mind, in my head, I see so much. All right, so Shefty, I can't get enough of this situation and yeah. this clause in Kyler's contract. What should we make of this entire situation? Because this is a $230.5 million investment in Kyler Murray. Right. Well, it's unprecedented language field. And I think when you talk to people around the league, they believe that this is an indictment of both sides. The Arizona Cardinals for paying Kyler Murray, agreeing to pay him over $230 million while insisting that he has a clause in there to study. And Kyler Murray, it's a reflection of how the Cardinals are concerned about his work habits in the past. So it doesn't make either side look good in this particular case. And it certainly sounds like, in the end, Arizona felt that if it was going to pay Kyler Murray all this money, it wanted assurances that he was going to work hard for that money. And again, it doesn't reflect well on either side in this particular case, normally when a quarterback signs a record-setting deal, big money contract, there's a lot of hoops and celebration and all sorts of things that come along with it in a positive way. Very rarely do you see something yeah. come out in a negative light, but that's exactly what this one clause has done. It's cast this contract in a negative light. Hey, yo, I've heard this conversation before. I've actually had this conversation before. Hmm. Here it is to my fifth grader. Hey, listen, I need you to sit down and study for an hour. If you don't do that, you can't <laughs> play video games or watch TV. See, we've heard it before, but it was with a fifth grader, not a, a professional quarterback that was about to earn $160 million guaranteed and 230 over the next five years. This it looks bad on everybody. It looks bad because if I know enough about you to know that you aren't professional enough to study, to know that you aren't dedicated enough to the game, to want to dive in and peel back all the layers of your opponent, to know that you rather rest on your just God-given abilities, and so if those things go away, you are actually useless to me. And give you 160 guarantee, and then for Kyler Murray, for it to now be public that you don't take preparation seriously, that working your way into each and every game every week and doing the things we've seen all the greats do from, from Tom Brady to Aaron Rodgers to Peyton Manning is not important to you. That's a very bad na narrative to have as a starting quarterback in this league. Yeah, look, man, it is an indictment on both parties. It's an indictment on Kyler Murray. It's an indictment on the Arizona Cardinals. And it's just an overall, it's, it's just a, it's a bad situation because, look, we all know that when you're scouting quarterbacks in particular, the number one thing that you're trying to judge is their makeup, their intrinsic desire to want to be great. Mm. And when you're talking about the number one overall pick and the former Heisman Trophy winner, you would assume that his intrinsic overall desire and motivation to be great, not just from an athletic standpoint, but from a mental standpoint, to be able to duel yeah. with the greats of this game, you know, play for play, series for series, game for game, you would assume it's at the highest level, the yes. very highest level. The best quarterbacks in the NFL are not studying four hours outside of the facility per week. There's no way that that's all they're doing. And see, I don't care how you spin this. And look, I love Zach Ertz. Love Zach Ertz. This is not about whether or not Kyler knows his playbook. Mm. They're yep. not asking you to go home and study your playbook for four hours. They're asking you to go home and study the opponent so you can be a step ahead of the opponent to where then you can apply what you know about your own offense that much quicker. Get the ball out that much quicker. Make that much better of a throw, that much better of a decision, and duel with the greats. Because ultimately what they're trying to do is do what? They're trying to win Super Bowls, not make it to the playoffs and then get – your rear end's busted by the L.A. Rams on Monday Night Football. Mm. That's not what they're asking you to do. That's not what they're paying you to do. They're paying you to win championships, which means you got to find that competitive edge, that little tiny bit. Come on now. That shouldn't be an addendum in your contract. That should not have to be an addendum in your contract. And that's, All I'm going to say is this. Quite honestly, I had a, I had a conversation. Sucks, 
I had a conversation with a, another former, with a former number one overall pick that was a quarterback, and he said, studying wasn't my thing. Mm. Going home and watching film wasn't my thing. Yeah, I'll do the stuff at work, but that I wasn't a guy who would pour in time away from the building. That quarterback's name was Jamarcus Russell. Mm. You don't wow. want to be associated with that. That's a guy no, who dude. had a large amount nope. of talent, one of the greatest arms we've ever seen, and he admitted he didn't yep. do enough. Kyler Murray doesn't want that label. <laughs> and I was thinking, but guess what, though? RC. Nope. Kyler Murray got a second contract. Yeah. Jamarcus Russell That's didn't. True. But now you got to live up <laughs> That's to true. it. And I remember Junior Seau addressing the Patriots, and he said there are two types of players in this league. There are those who want to win. Every player wants to win. There are those who need to win. You decide whether you want to win or whether you need to win. At least four hours per week is not the kind of player that maybe suggests he needs to win. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.